Pre-registration and registered reports are both ways to make research more transparent by creating and sharing a plan beforehand. The current research culture pressures researchers to make their studies all look successful and tell a neat, compelling story. Consciously or not, after they run a study, they may cherry-pick or massage the data to make it support a particular hypothesis, or even go back and change their hypotheses to fit their findings. Or, if the results don't support the expected outcome, they might be less likely to get published, an effect that's called publication bias. But to make progress in scientific understanding, we need to publish the true stories of how research was done, not an airbrushed version. Fortunately, pre-registration and registered reports can help with these issues. And they have other benefits for researchers along the way. Many researchers already write a protocol, or a plan that outlines the background, methods, and analysis planned for their study. In some fields, protocols are routinely published in journals. Writing a protocol before you start has many benefits. It helps you design a better study by getting you to anticipate contingencies before they happen. And it helps you remember what you planned and stay on track once you're actually doing it. Pre-registering a study goes one step further than this. By timestamping or freezing that plan and saving it somewhere, it can eventually be made public, so readers can compare the completed study with your plans. There are special repositories where it can be kept private until your final paper has been published. Pre-registration has the added benefit of giving you credibility and credit. By showing that you made your hypotheses, methods and analysis plans before you ran the study, and therefore vouching that you didn't change them to find the results that you, or the reviewers, wanted. That not only boosts your reputation with others, but it actually makes your work better by keeping you from fooling yourself. Registered reports add yet another layer, because with registered reports you submit your protocol to a journal. Your protocol is peer-reviewed, giving you valuable feedback at the time when you can best implement it. Once peer reviewers and editors are satisfied, the study is accepted, in principle, at the journal based on the research question and the rigor of your proposed methods. This means the journal promises to publish your study regardless of the results as long as you follow your proposed plan. This guards against publication bias. The manuscript cannot be rejected now based on the results. Some researchers worry that pre-registering their study will constrain them too much leaving out valuable insights and improvements that may arise later in the process. It's important to remember that pre-registrations and registered reports are meant to provide a plan, not a prison. Your study can still change, but you've documented the initial plan, so you can transparently show any changes in the final write-up. Pre-registration and registered reports don't solve all problems, and they take time and effort but the payoff in credibility and better quality is often well worth it. To learn more, check out our UKRN Primer on pre-registration and registered reports.